messages from our subconscious or electrical impulses in the brain. Dreams come under scrutiny inside the psychic zone. With that in? Yes, as we said, the dream is a message from yourself and the message just keeps coming and coming and coming. And then when you consciously recognise it and do something about it, then you will stop having the dream. Now you can do that in waking life, but you can also do it in your dream. If you dream that you're being chased by a monster at night, the best way to deal with that is actually in the dream when you become aware that you've been chased by the monster and turn around and confront it. And then that will carry over into your waking life because whatever problem is causing the recurring dream, you'll be able to confront and resolve the situation. I mean, now, you have yeah. recurring dreams, don't you, Margaret? Do. Or a recurring dream? A recurring yes. dream. Yes. What, and I don't about? remember the dream. I don't remember oh, the dream. Yes. Well, <laughs> when I wake, no, when I wake up, I know that I've, I've been on a plantation. I'm one of two boys. Um, I'm the son of the overseer. And the other little boy is an egro. And I wake up... And I'm very, very happy. And I want to go back in the dream and carry on. Aww. So I don't know. I and, can't and make like, anything of it. And this happens? Yes. And so, but can we, can we, yeah. do we know what that means? I'm can not we? unhappy. I'm not, I'm very happy. I want to go back and carry deal? on. How would you deal with Margaret then? You know. Well, go, well, go on, you go okay. first. <laughs> Get <laughs> the, the psychological side. Yeah, the, the dream symbolism, it just carries over from waking life. Mm. So if you think of a, a plantation, that's something where you're, you're growing something in a very methodical and nurturing manner. Mm -hmm. So it might just represent your life, that you have a, a creative and joyful life, that in there you're growing something. And it may be that um, the person you're with, the Negro boy, represents uh, your, your own unconscious yeah. or some part of your family. He's my best friend. He's your best friend. Oh. Well, yeah, he's my best friend, whoever he is. Every he's time you dream, friend. if you dream of something, whether it's um, a small boy, uh, a ship, anything, you're actually dreaming, it's a projection of your own self mm -hmm. which is coming out. So you're probably just dreaming about part of yourself, your own unconscious, and you're just, you're just being very, it's a very joyful, it's a content and fulfilled dream. Yeah, you obviously don't want the dream to stop, do you? Yeah. It wakes me up. You don't want the dream to stop, though. No, I mean, you really. want to keep, you no, want to keep to dreaming. Yeah. yeah, he just wants to be there now, actually. <laughs> dreams are bad. Right, it could be looked upon as quite morbid, but what my dream has been is my own funeral. Mm. But it's like, it's like a film. I'm watching I can see from sort of everything going on and everybody going to the service and so you're on high watching it yeah mm. and um but it's quite sad in the fact that I see my mum later and the the sort of the after effects of is this just one dream you've had or does this recur yeah I've had it a few times have you yeah and uh it gets quite I feel quite sad when I see my mum I can picture her in Ooh, the kitchen not missing me and all that sort oh, of thing and I'm not surprised. so I've woken up in tears about it but Ian's um. laughing. I'm not. I'm <laughs> you had a smile on your face. <laughs> <laughs> well, the reason I'm, I'm, I wasn't laughing, but um, I know, the uh, smiling about it, if you dream of death, um, perhaps uh, Barbara will say something else here, but if you dream of death, it's not usually death per se, it's a transformation, it's a big mm. change in your life. So if you dream that you're going to your own funeral, it means yeah. there's a big change coming up in your life or it has occurred in your life, it doesn't mean you're going to walk out tomorrow and be run over by a lorry. It just yeah, means there's a change that, coming up. Can you can you agree with what yeah. you're saying? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So well, really? yeah, I believe in that anyway. Yeah. So yeah. right. Yeah, I can I can see that. It's just it, it's quite upsetting when it happens, I suppose. Yeah. Well, it is because you have been resisting that change and resisting that transformation. Have you, you been, been resisting a change in your life? Oh, I don't. Well, I well, suppose I'd have to look at each change individually, if you like. Um, I don't think consciously I may be, you know, resisting it, but mm. possibly subconsciously, I don't know. I was going to add 